What's going on guys, Nate the Great coming at you. Welcome back to another video of the book review section. I really appreciate you guys that have been tuning into these book reviews. It's definitely something that I like to do since I read so many books. Like literally, I'd probably get through like a book a week. Um, to some, that might that might be a lot. To some others, that's like, ah, oh, Nate, that's a piece of cake. I get through a book a day. I have people that do get through books a day that I know, so it's crazy, but... Anyways, um, in my previous video, um, I said about that I'm reading uh, a book called Talk Like Ted, but I totally forgot that. I forgot to do a book review on this one. It's called The Greatest Minds and Ideas of All Time, and it's by Will Durant. So as you can see by the cover, this looks like a super deep book, and it is. It's a very, very deep book. It's a very, it's a very thin book, though. Not many pages in this, um, you know, basically, like, some of the things that are in it, like the contents, a shameless worship of heroes, the 10 greatest thinkers of all time, the 10 greatest poets, the 100 best books for an education, the 10 peaks of human progress, and then 12 vital dates in world history. So this book is more like, a, I mean, honestly, it's like a history book. Um, just, you know, with it talking about the poets, some of the greatest poets like Shakespeare, for example, some of the greatest thinkers, you know, um, some of the best books, and I mean, when it says some of the best books, these books were from way back when, so they're very, very deep, and this book is super duper deep, so I do not recommend reading this as one of your first or however few books. Definitely read a decent amount of books before you start reading this, because this is super duper deep, so as always, you know, I'll, I'll read, uh, I think, I, I think I'll read the, the cover page this time, like the little flap, because I know I typically read a little bit out. I might do that as well, but it says, A wise and witty uh, compendium of the greatest thoughts, greatest minds, and greatest books of all time, listed in accessible and succinct form by one of the world's greatest scholars. From the 100 best books to the 10 greatest thinkers to the 10 greatest poets, here's a concise collection of the world's most significant knowledge. For the better part of a century, Will Durant dwelled upon and wrote about the most significant eras, individuals, and achievements of human history. His selections have finally been brought together in a single compact volume. Durant eloquently defends his choices of the greatest minds and ideas, but he also stimulates readers into forming their own opinions, encouraging them to shed their surroundings and biases and enter the country of the mind, a timeless realm where the heroes of our species dwell. From a thinker who always choose who always chose to exalt the positive in the human species, the greatest minds and ideas of all time stays true to Durant's optimism. This is a book containing the absolute best of our heritage, passed on for our benefit of future generations. Filled with Durant's renowned wit, knowledge, and unique ability to explain events and ideas in simple and exciting terms, this is a pocket size liberal arts and humanist and humanist. Uh, curriculum in one volume so as you can see I sort of stu stumbled upon some of the words um, that's how the book is to be honest like it's a very really deep vocabulary book to say the least and uh, um, you know just going through it just to show you guys like you can look at some of the words and you'll see exactly what I mean like it's got like little poets in here but you can read like this is really really deep um, yeah, so I don't want to spoil it because a book like this just, I, I mean, I, I, I want know where to pick a, a section out or like a little paragraph. I could read a little paragraph, but I prefer, I mean, this this is just a type of book where it's like, yo, you, you got to just read it. Um, but again, I want you to, of course, read some other books first before you just dive into it. But I definitely do recommend this book. Will Durant has amazing books. I, I read another one of his books called The Selfish Gene. Um, actually, well, it wasn't by Wells, by Richard Dawkins. My apologies. Um, but I know Will Durant, he, he does a lot of books. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to be purchasing, I think there's seven books in this volume. And it's all about like psychology and all these different things. You can, you can get them on Amazon and I think they're like 70, 80 bucks, which isn't bad for seven books. And I think they're hardback too. So, so anyways, guys, um, yeah, again, really great book. Um, it's not that, let me see how many pages it has. Page-wise, just a little bit over 100 to be exact. It has 
118 pages, which, I mean, it's nothing for real, but it can be like a 200 page book, to be honest, because just the words and everything. I mean, I, mean, I, I couldn't really skim through this one because it was just very hard to skim. Um, but again, this is a, this is a great book. I definitely recommend it. Um, hope you guys are enjoying these book reviews, you know, leave any comments, uh, give me a like, definitely appreciate the, the love and everything. And, uh, yeah, if you have any book recommendations that you're like, Nate, you got to get this book. I think you'd love it. Feel free to, you know, put it in the comments below and stay tuned for my next book review. Talk soon.